Hello everyone, it's Tracy here, back with another card tutorial. So I'm starting today with the Lawn Fawn Coles ABC's dies, and I spelled out party. So I have a strip of kind of like a royal navy blue cardstock, and I have my T-squared ruler, and I am going to line these letters up on that piece of cardstock just to make sure that they are all completely on the same um, so that they're even on there so I don't get all these letters all over the place. And then I went ahead and took a piece of washi tape and I just taped those into place so that they didn't move while I ran them through my cuddle bug. And then I went ahead and removed all of those letters out. And then I want the little inside pieces on like the P and the A and the R. So I just took my little poker tool and poked those out. And then I'll adhere them in just a minute. But I'm first going to adhere this party strip down on a piece of pattern paper. This is from the Lawn Fawn um, 6x6 paper pad. So I'm just putting a little adhesive on the back. And that pattern paper piece is slightly smaller than that blue piece. So it's not going to show um, on the edges or anything like that. So just line that up to make sure that there's no edges sticking out. And then I will adhere down the centers. So I'm just taking my quick stick and putting each of those little pieces in some multi mat medium. And then just pressing them down into place. This quick stick tool is really good for um, picking up those small pieces. It I tried using the tweezers but that was a little bit too difficult but this worked perfectly. So then I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by five, or four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I'm just going to adhere that down. And then I have the medium dot stencil from Simon Says Stamp. I just put a piece of washi tape down to adhere that into place so it doesn't move. And then I'm using the Broken China Distress Ink and my mini foam blending tool. And I'm just going to cover part of this piece of cardstock with these dots. I'm not going to cover the whole thing, but I just want some of these dots to peek behind my party sentiment. You'll see what I mean a little later on. So you can see I didn't cover the entire thing, and not very much of this is actually going to show, um, which is just how I want it. And then I'm using the Newton's Nook Newton's Birthday Bash stamp set. And I'm going to stamp the little cat that's holding the balloon with my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And I'm stamping this on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. So I'll go ahead and put that on my clear acrylic black and then ink that up really well. And then I can stamp that on my cardstock. And then I am just going to go ahead and color this in with my Copic markers. Now, I have a Siamese cat, so I'm going to color this in like a Siamese. I'm starting with the E13, which is like a light brown color. And I'm just going to, I'm doing this kind of in parts, so I'm just going to focus on the head right now. So I'm coloring that in completely, and this is not going to look right at first, <laughs> I'll warn you. Um, because next I am going to color in using the darker colors. So I'm taking the E15 and just adding this to the center face part because as you know Siamese are darker um, in their face, kind of, <laughs> at least mine is. Um, and then I'm coloring the ears in with the C8 and I'm also going to color in the face with that which is where it looks really scary but I promise it's going to look a little bit better. So then I'm taking the E15 and blending that out. And then I'll go over that again with the E13. And as you go over this dark gray color with these lighter colors, it blends out and it fades a little bit so it's not so harsh. And it just looks a little bit better and it looks more like a Siamese cat. <laughs> So the darker color was a little bit too dark, so then I'm going back and adding in the C5 and the C3 just to blend that darker color out a little bit and make it um, look a little bit better with the browns. You can always do this with your Copics. Just add more color, build, build it up, and then just blend it out and it looks a lot better. And then I used the 100, the dark black color for the nose. 
And then I'm going to color in the tail and the paws again with the C8 because um, my cat has darker paws. I know not all, there's different types of Siamese, but that is how mine is. She's more of a seal point, and I know there's like chocolate point and different ones, but mine is a seal point. And then I'm just going to color in the rest of the body and the balloon, so I will just keep on coloring those in. Alright, so after I finished coloring that, I fussy cut the cat out. Um, I left a little white border around the edge. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp the rest of my sentiment. So this is from the same stamp set, and it says, It's your birthday. So I am heat embossing this, so I'm going to take my powder tool and just go over the area, just so that there's no static and it won't, there won't be any stray embossing powder pieces that stick on there. So then I'm going to ink up my stamp with the Versamark ink, and I'm going to stamp that right below the party. And then I'm going to cover this with the Hero Arts White Embossing Powder. This is the best white that I've found, and it's the one that I've used um, for many years when heat embossing. So I just took my heat tool and then melted that embossing powder completely. Next, I'm going to go ahead and assemble my card together. So I have this piece of like coral orangey card stock, and it matches the um, pattern paper that I'm using. So I'm just going to put my um, stencil piece on there. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my sentiment piece on there as well. And I'm going to put that right on top of the little dots and you can see that there's just going to be a few of them sticking up from behind that sentiment and that's kind of the look I wanted I just wanted a little bit of something in the background but not to take away from my um, pattern paper sentiment and my stamped image so then I'm going to go ahead and adhere that onto a white A2 size card base this is a longer card but it is still top folding and then I am going to adhere the cat down with some small 3D foam squares from Best Creation. I'm just going to cover those on the back. And I'm you could use the larger ones for this as well, but I couldn't find mine at the time, so that's why I have the smaller ones. I'm going to go ahead and stick that down right next to my sentiment. And then I'm going to cover this balloon with the clear Wink of Stella glitter pen. Just going to add a little bit of sparkle to the card, and I think it makes the balloon kind of come to life a little bit more. And I did the last 30-day color challenge. Um, I colored one of the images in just like this, and I really liked it, so that's why I'm using it again on this card. Alright, so then I'm going to go ahead and adhere down some sequins. I'm just randomly scattering these. These are from Pretty Pink Posh. They are the white ones, and they are 6 and 4 millimeter, I believe. Or they could be 5 millimeter. I'm not really sure. <laughs> so I'm going to scatter those down, and then I'll go ahead and adhere them into place with my multi-medium matte. You could also use Glossy Accents or the Tombow Mono Multi-Glue to adhere those into place. I just like to put a little dot of adhesive and then I 
press the sequin down into the glue. All of the supplies I am using on this card will be linked below if you're interested in any of them. And then the last step, I am going to cover that balloon with some glossy accents. I like to use glossy accents and the Wink of Stella together. I think they really, the glossy accents really makes that Wink of Stella shimmer and shine a little bit more. And I like to use the glossy accents on the balloon because it makes it look a little bit more realistic. And then that will be my finished card for today. I did the glossy accents last just because I didn't want to adhere the sequins and then stick my hand in it or anything. So I always kind of do um, those little touches last on my card. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, I would love if you did. So you can catch all of my newest videos. I'm not really on a schedule right now, so they're kind of all over the place. I I'm going to try to get some more um, videos and try to do it more daily, but we'll just see how that goes. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys back here for my next video. Bye!